This is Andy Perrault for Boxing News. I'm joined by heavyweight talent David Adelaide here in London. David, good to see you. Straight into the fights tonight. The Hamza Shears with a stunning performance against Liam Williams. Yeah, real good performance. Um, can't, can't complain with that first one stoppage. You know, used his jab, worked wonders, and the rest was history. You've known yourself for being a knockout artist. When you see stuff like that, does that get the juices flowing to get back out there as quickly as possible? Yeah, my juices are always flowing, though. I'm always ready to, you know, I'm a fighting man, you know, I've been doing it for so long, so I. Yeah, it's good, but um, it's good to sit in the back as well, man. Watch the other people um, train and whatnot, so I'm chilling. Uh, Anthony Ard successful tonight. A lot of talk about a fight with him and Joshua Boatzi. If we do see that next, what would be your take? Good fight, man. The public's in for a good one in them sort of fights there. I think it's a fight that we needed as well. Um, I'll be tuning in. I'm a, I'm a fan just like you guys, so I'll be tuning in and watching in. We've got Yard, that's obviously... Um, a big powerhouse for his weight. He got Buatzi, that's no pushover, bro, and uses his tools very well. I know you said you're kind of here just to enjoy sitting in the back like a fan, but what can you update us? What's next for you? We'll see. God knows. You know, um, I'm just chilling right now. You're just chilling, but just to ask you, obviously, I've seen a photo of yourself and Anthony Joshua been getting some rounds in ahead of his fight with Francis Ngannou. What can you tell me about your sparring with him? It's real good work. You know, um, you guys just know how I fight and you go how AJ fights. They're both big bangers. Um, so it's good work. And it's a thinking man's game as well. We're just both using our tools and doing certain things and working on certain things. You know, um, so yeah. He sparred him previously, but now he's linked up with Ben Davis and sparring, watching him under Ben. What's been the development that you've seen? He's using his tools. He's always used his tools, but he's a good thinking fighter. You know, um, so yeah, it's going to be good to see how the fight turns out. So a uh, heavyweight game. How do you think that fight turns out? Joshua stops him, I think. I think it's table tennis and tennis. It's two different games. I know he's a good MMA fighter and whatnot, but um, and they say he takes kicks and elbows to the head, but it's different when someone continuously pummels you with their hands. So, um, David, I also have to ask you, former opponent of yours, Fabio Ward, going to face Fraser Clark on March 31st. What's your take on that bout? Good fight, good fight, fight that I'm going to be, you know, watching in. You know, um, there's no malice, man. I got a good, got a good head on my shoulders, so I move forward and I know what I'm doing in my career. So, who do you think wins? Styles make fights, man, like I was saying before. It depends on how the styles gel. Styles make fights, but I think Wardley should come out on top, though. We've been used to seeing you go out to fights, calling people out. Will you be there ringside? Depends. Depends. We'll see what I'm doing on the day. David, it's good to see you. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. I appreciate it.